the cost of health a critical look at the proposed removal of free medicine by finance minister colum imbert in trinidad and tobago an editorial by professor wall street in a recent development finance minister colum imbert has indicated the challenges of funding the free medicine program under the chronic disease assistance program cdap in trinidad and tobago here are 10 reasons that examines the potential repercussions of such a proposal, particularly on the impoverished population. One, increased healthcare expenses. The removal of free medicine would immediately translate to increased out-of-pocket healthcare costs for individuals, disproportionately affecting those who are already struggling financially. Two, access to medication. For many, Free medicine is the only means of accessing necessary drugs. Without it, the poor may forgo essential medications, leading to worsened health conditions. Three, chronic disease management. CDAP specifically targets chronic diseases, which require long-term medication. The inability to afford these could lead to a rise in complications and fatalities from conditions like diabetes and hypertension. Four, children and the elderly. Vulnerable groups such as children and the elderly who are more dependent on free medication would be severely impacted, potentially leading to higher morbidity rates. Five, hospital overcrowding. An increase in untreated conditions could lead to more people seeking emergency care, thus overcrowding hospitals and stretching thin resources even further. Six, economic productivity poor health directly affects an individual's ability to work and contribute economically the removal of free medicine could thus have a ripple effect on the country's productivity seven mental health the stress of managing health expenses can exacerbate mental health issues creating an additional health care burden eight public health Unmanaged health conditions can lead to outbreaks of preventable diseases, posing a risk to public health and safety. 9. Social inequality. Removing free medicine would widen the gap between the rich and the poor, as only those who can afford it would have access to necessary health care. 10. Long-term costs. Ultimately, the short-term savings from cutting free medicine could be outweighed by the long-term costs associated with the decline in public health. In conclusion, the proposal to remove free medicine is a complex issue that requires careful consideration of its long-term effects on society's most vulnerable. It's imperative that any decision made is in the best interest of the nation's health and future. It reflects the concerns raised by various stakeholders and the potential impact on the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. Is this another situation under Prime Minister Rauli to make the rich richer and poor people poorer?